Brendan, was that was that the test that you wanted after the four 0 game the other night? A bit, a bit tougher and uh, you know being put to the test by uh, by the ball. Yeah, yeah. No, it was an excellent game. Um, we feel when we come to here, they're always going to be you know, real good examinations of where we're at at this stage of pre-season. And, and obviously, we're only 12 days in, but no, it, it was a very good game. Brisbane Roar were very good technically. I think it's a real mark of Australian football how it's the improvements that they're making. You know, again, watching the Melbourne team, I think the structure that you have here in the federation is is paying off. You see a really top-level technical game from your team. A good idea, four three three, four two three one, um, and that will always breed a quality player when you're able to play that quality football. And I think you've seen that probably more so in the first half. Um, but I was really pleased with my players. You know, at this period of the, the pre-season, their intensity in the game, how hard they worked, and obviously the quality of the goals. So uh, wonderful night, great stadium, great supporters, and it was a really enjoyable game. And you must have been happy with some of your new players tonight, Danny Ings particularly, and also the Jordan Ive who came on late in the second half. You must have been pleased with their performances. Yeah, I looked at um, you know, the boys that have been settling in. Nathaniel Klein, he's a real steady, top class performer. He's very low maintenance. You know, Nathaniel, he just gets on with football, he understands how we play. Big plus tonight, I was interested to see, was young Joe Gomez. He was only 18 years of age. Uh, seeing him play at left back for the first time, he looked an outstanding athlete and a really good footballer. I've seen him at centre half and at right back. I wanted to see him at left back and I thought he was outstanding. James Milner's a class act. He uh, yeah. we had to work very hard to get him in, but I think we'll see over the course of the season how important he is for us. He's a wonderful personality and top class footballer. And when you see him playing in his favourite position, you see all these qualities come out. and. Uh, as you say, uh, Danny Ings working well, working hard, and, and Jordan Eve coming off the bench making a, a real good contribution. Any one play from Brisbane that maybe caught your eye? I thought the team, I thought the, the controlling player, the young 18, sat in and controlled the game, gave us a wee bit of a problem in the first half in terms of when they press and when not. And once we looked to adjust that tactically at half time, it probably uh, maybe wasn't as influential. but. Uh, no, I think over the course of the team, I think the I always look at the game model of a team and uh, the Brisbane Roar, how they work was it was very impressive. Uh, you spoke about Jamie Young yesterday. He pulled off a, a string of pretty good saves tonight. What, what did you think it went? He did. Yeah, it was great to see him. I seen him on the pitch afterwards. Uh, he had one save from Danny Ings where he was he was going the opposite way and had to get down to his right hand. And uh, but he'll be a great. He's a great attribute. You know. Attribute here to the the team. He's a wonderful boy. I gave him his first Christmas dinner in England when he came over at 16. <laughs> he came over. We took him in from the institute, and um, he was all on his own. And he came to my house for his Christmas dinner on Christmas Day many years ago. So uh, he's grown up a bit since then. But a real good boy, and uh, as I said, he's a real top-class professional. And, and as you say, made some really good saves. Brennan, um, defensively, uh, are you happy with the depth in the squad uh, now, or are you still looking to strengthen perhaps that area of the squad in terms of centre halves? You know, I think we're we're, we're fine for centre halves. We have we've got uh, two boys that started, got Dejan Lover and Carlo Turi, and uh, we've got uh, the the young kid who can play in there as well, Joe Gomez. So we're fine in that aspect. Is he a centre-half option for you, do you think, Joe yeah. Gomez? Yeah, 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 that's where he's played a lot of his career. We took him in from Charlton, uh, played in a centre-half as a two, played in a back three, and he's also played as a, a right back. So he's got all the tools to play across the back four, and then you see him tonight play at left back, he's a big talent. Well, is Mourinho injured at the moment? Yeah. Yeah, he's just started back training, so he'll be uh, he'll be included for uh, Monday. Do you see Gomez staying here throughout the season and challenging, or do you think he might need to go out on loan to play? No, no, he'll stay. He'll stay. I've seen enough in the period. When you judge young players, I always bring them in and over this pre-season have a good idea of whether we're going to keep them or not. And seeing him, in particular, close at hand in his personality, he'll uh, he'll be staying. He'll get games.
Uh, Brandon, did you see one reason, several reasons tonight why you went out your way to get Milner? Yeah. You know, the way he knitted. Yeah, I think him and him and Jordan Henderson could run to Adelaide. You know, <laughs> the, the work they put into a game, how they press, how they run, but also the quality. And we wanted more goals from midfield. And, uh, and you see, James, that was the idea, because I think when he plays in the central area, he can really penetrate the box. You know, we got in a number of times with a couple of shots, went close, uh, and then he got his goal. So um, he's a top-class operator, and I think playing in this team and playing in Liverpool, he probably, he'll probably, he'll probably shine even more. You see, you see, he always said he wanted to play in that central role. There's kind of evidence that he was right about saying that all along. Really. I think players will always have a favourite position. Sometimes when you're such a great professional, um, you can get you can get moved about, and that's a it's an attribute that it's good to have as a player. But every player will want to play in their main position. And I think James probably suffered just a little bit from being such a good player, such a good footballer. You know, he's played it right back, wide in the left, wide in the right. Plays as a striker, midfield player, and you always want players like that in your squad, but. As a player, you want to play in your favourite position, and probably his best season James ever had was at Aston Villa, playing as a centre midfield player. So, uh, so he's going to be huge for us, and I'm working close at hand with him. I can see why he's why he's really regarded as a top class professional. Did players like him enable you to get that pressing game back that you didn't, didn't have for a lot of last season? Yeah, no, you're right, James. It, that was key for me to return to that. If you look at the players we brought in. Look at Klein, how he presses the game, gets tight. Gomez at left back, gets up to people. Same as where they play centre half. Midfield now, you've got midfield again that can go and press and get up to the ball. And uh, we still have bits to work on, you know, that dynamic and the, the coordination of all of that. But I think you start to see signs of it in these couple of games uh, that uh, we're starting to return to that level. Thoughts on I guess the atmosphere, the crowd, the support you've had, time in Brisbane. Yeah, it's, it amazes me every time I come back here. It's you know to, to come in in a, in a winter's evening and get over fifty odd thousand people and to hear you never walk alone saying this far away from home. It's truly really remarkable. The stadium's beautiful. It's a credit to the, the city here of Brisbane. It's a wonderful arena for football. This would grace any any league in the world. Uh, so it's. A big applause to to, to Brisbane and, and how the setup is. Everything from changing rooms, how it's all it's all set up for elite performance. Um, like as I said, the support that we get here and how we're received, it's always very humbling. So we thank the people of Brisbane and the supporters in particular tonight. Daniel Sturridge, how's he progressing, Brendan? When can the football fans expect to see him? He's still, he's still away working hard. Um, I don't want to put a time line on it, really. So uh, he's working hard, and he feels as if he's getting there in his fitness level. So, uh, so hopefully at some point early in the season he'll be back. Uh, Brendan, what can you say about this uh, Christian Benteke story? Can you say anything about that? No. <laughs> 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 uh, just uh, thank you to Greg and his team looking after us. Thank you to Australian media for the yeah, no, on behalf of us all here, the, uh, the club, the players and the supporters, you know, they, we, we stayed at the hotel and the amount of staff that's been supportive, people have been around the, the hotel, been incredible and, and overall coming to Brisbane. We are in Melbourne the last time and we've come here to Brisbane and it's been equally as accommodating and we've loved every minute of it. So thank you very much and have a safe journey home.